Hello, my name is Paris, and I'm from ICU in Tokyo, Japan, and today I'll be showing you how to install Audacity. Audacity is a software used to make and edit audio recordings. Uh, in the field of linguistics, you might find it useful for making recordings of your own voice, or for recording participants in an experiment, uh, or perhaps in field studies. Uh, it's very easy to install and use, so this shouldn't take too much time. And Audacity is also a free and open source software, which means that it costs no money to download and use, and you can also use it in your research without any issues. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, open up Google, and we're going to look up Audacity. Uh, so the main Audacity page here is audacityteam.org. It should look something like this. On the, pain, on the uh, main page, you can read uh, more about the software or download it straight away. We're just going to download it now. Um, just move your cursor to the drop-down menu that reads Download up here. And we are going to select our operating system, which is, in this case, Windows. So if you wait a few seconds, as indicated here, it will start downloading. Um, if for some reason it does not automatically download, then you can just click this direct link uh, but for us, it seems it has started downloading. Um, I'm using Google Chrome, so in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see where uh, my downloads are. Um, in order to find this file, I'm going to click on this uh, arrow right next to it and click Show in Folder. So that will open up my Downloads folder, and it will highlight this uh, application. Uh, this is called Audacity Windows 3.2.1 64-bit. If yours is a slightly different name, don't worry. It's uh, probably going to work on your system unless you're using something very old. Um, or perhaps this number here has changed, which means it's perhaps a newer version. In any case, you're going to want to open this, which is the installer for Audacity. So we're going to work through. Oh, you might get a window like this as well. Just click yes. What we're going to do now is work through the installation. So we can close these other tabs, including our downloads folder and um, the website we were just on. Um, this first pop-up message is asking about uh, language. Uh, we want to use English, but there's other languages offered as well. Feel free to choose the one you like. We will click OK, and then this new window pops up. It says, Welcome to the Audacity Setup Wizard. Click Next. Uh, there is a license agreement you can read about. Click Next. And uh, here we'll choose the destination location. So this is where on our computer we want to install Audacity and all the files associated with it. I'm going to keep mine in the default location, which is program files on the C drive. So this folder it'll create now is called Audacity. Click Next. And here we can choose whether we want to create a desktop shortcut or not. If you create a desktop shortcut, then it will appear on the desktop up in the top left corner. Uh, I don't want one personally, but feel free to install yours uh, with a desktop shortcut. Of course, you can create one later as well. Uh, click Next there, and now I'm going to click Install, and that should be the final step of the installation. Excellent. It looks like we're done, and we've installed it successfully. So I'm going to click Next, and then uh, we can launch Audacity here. So if we make sure to click this um, and have it checkmarked there, uh, Audacity will launch when we close this window. If you um, haven't clicked uh, this button here, or for some reason it doesn't launch after you close the window, just find it in your program files um, and launch it regularly. For now, I'm just going to click Finish, as I did, and then it should load the software. Yes, it has. It's just loaded it on my other monitor, but I'll drag it here. Anyway, it should look something like this. So you should have this um, kind of empty gray background and then some buttons at the top here and some information at the bottom as well. 